Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I am so very happy to welcome you all back for another video. It's been like three months since my last video. Um, you know, we had some issues going on around the house, you know, pneumonia for the girlfriend, uh, ear infections and uh, flu for my son, um, back going out for me and just life in general getting in the way. Anyways, as you can see in the title of the video, this is my five, four, three, two, one favorite shaving products video. Um, just in case you haven't seen any of the other videos on this, which from what I understand, uh, these video, this challenge was made by, um, was first done by my new subscriber. His channel is Elmer Fudd, and uh, his name is, if I remember correctly, Todd Stanfield. Um, welcome to the channel, Todd. I hope you enjoy your time here, and thank you for subscribing. Anyhow, um, so this is uh, my five favorite soaps, my four favorite post-shave products, my three favorite brushes, my two favorite razors, and my number one favorite blade. Uh, I was not tagged in this video or to do this video by anyone. I am not going to be tagging anyone. Uh, but I am picking up the challenge from Jill of She Shaves with Jill. She said, if you're a YouTuber and you haven't been tagged, just do it anyway. She's interested to see what uh, everybody has going on. So I will accept the challenge <laughs> made by Jill. Anyways, so let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Um, since I haven't been tagged, I'm not going to stick exactly to the uh, rules of this. I'm throwing in an honorable mention. And that honorable mention, as soon as I find it real quick, is a soap. Um, I won this. Uh, some of you may know who I'm talking about. His name is Max Schaefer. He, as a hobby, does shaving soaps. And he gives them away, and he was giving away one he calls Petrichor. And it's this one. It's an honorable mention. You can't buy this. He doesn't have a shaving soap company. Uh, the smell, the scent just really takes me back. Um, it kind of smells like the scent is that which is you get when rain uh, starts hitting dirt or stone. And it's just, it's got some pine in the background or, you know, some woodsy notes in the background. And I just absolutely love it. It's a great scent. It's a bison towel formula. So thank you, Max, so much. And that's the honorable mention. So the first soap is actually a cream. And these aren't in any particular order. Um, and it's Taylorville Bond Street Sandalwood, or we mostly call it Tops Sandalwood. It's got a cologne scent. As you can see, I'm almost out. I absolutely love the scent of this. It's just beautiful, beautiful sandalwood scent. The next one is my favorite soap of all. I do know the scent notes on this. It is bright orange, grapefruit, pineapple, vanilla, and cassock, whatever that is. And it is K Shave Works Hump Day. Uh, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but I've reached the warning nipple at the bottom of the thing, which is that little bump you get in the bottom. Uh, I fell in love with this scent the second, the very first time I used it, it was a sample and that I got and I ended up going ahead and trying it and it was just, it was beautiful. I really love this scent. I'm going to be getting another tub of it and probably the matching aftershave splash here um, down the road a bit. So that's K-Shave Works something. 
the next is in this. This is an Urban Woods, um, Taconic Urban and Woods tin. But while I put it, I ended up getting some soaps from Dennis O'Drain and in a piff box. And I got a four ounce refill puck of Sterling's uh, agar. It's a beautiful oud scent. I absolutely love it. As you can see, I've scooped out some samples. Uh, scooped out some. I've given my brother some. I just love it. It's an oud scent. If you're not familiar with what an oud scent is, um, and you've tried Razor Rock, the Stallion, uh, that's an oud scent. That's about all I can say about oud scents. The next soap is... I fell in love with the scent the very first time I used it, and it is Italian Barber Razor Rock Alchemy. Mm, the scent, it's medium, and it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's stronger than uh, some of the other Razor Rock scents, but um, not as strong as some of the others. But, I mean, it's just a wonderful soap. If you've used Italian Barber or Razor Rock soaps, you know the quality of the soaps. I just love the scent on it. My girlfriend got me that as a gift. And I fell in love with the scent the very first time. The last one is another Sterling soap. And it's another one that came to me from Dennis. And um, along with the agar. And it is... <clears throat> Sterling's Barbershop. I love barbershop scents. In fact, I need to work on getting more. I've only got a couple or three so far. Um, but, oh God. The smell is just, it's wonderful. I really love the scent of that. And that is my five favorite shaving soaps. My four favorite post-shave products. The first one, I'll start with a bomb, and Nick Shaves really likes this one, and it is Nivea Aftershave Bomb. The smell, I like the smell, it's pleasant. I don't have a lot left, I gotta get some more, but I don't know how many bottles of this stuff I've gone through. But it is a product that will always stay in the den for post shaves as long as they make it. Next one I got from Dennis, and it is the, along with the matching soap, but it is Parasso Green Aftershave Lotion, they call it. It's a clean, a clean, fresh scent. To me, it's fresh. It's eucalyptus and menthol, and uh, it's just really good. comes in a nice glass bottle. Got a really nice restrictor up top in the cap and it's just it's great great aftershave the next one number three of course is the matching splash to alchemy this is a wonderful splash it's pretty close if not dead on with the with the soap so if you like the soap if you've tried the soap and you like it or you get the soap and you like it but you didn't order the splash go for it it's just wonderful next one is a dr john's i mean not dr john's uncle john or uncle john's or dr john's i can't remember which one of those two and it's finn mccool i also got this from dennis this if you have a rough shave i don't know if it's considered a serum or what but if you have a rough shave uh, excuse me there guys if you have a rough shave this is really good it doesn't burn it doesn't sting when you put it on it just feels really good on the face set that down now that was the post shave parts on to the brushes um i have a couple of badgers i have some boars and i have quite a few synthetics so i figured i'd go ahead and do one of each The first one is my, um, the one I prefer out of the two badgers I have, and it is one of my favorite brushes. I ended up winning it on um, Shaming in the Lion's Den from Andrew Leon. 
and it is this it is a whip dog high mountain white 24 millimeter badger knot in the tall amber handle as you can see there's no you know whip dog logo or anything no coin nothing you know it's pretty plain handle you know not real fancy as far as Zion got a little knot ridge down here but just feels good in the hand and these tips these they're gel tips and they just feel so wonderful on the face in fact when I use this first time it was the first time I ever used a gel tip brush and um, as like as I'm rinsing it out I'm like man there's still soap in the tips of this brush and I'm like rinsing 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 I'm like no wait oh wow that's how the tips were supposed to be so I love that brush one of my favorites next as far as bores go is this one the Omega 10066 um, bore brush um, this is a really good brush got nice backbone um, really really does a nice job on the lather and finally synthetic brushes my favorite one out of all the synthetics I own has got to be by far from Pete from Phoenix Arson accoutrements or PAA and it is the Starcraft this is their Roswell 24 millimeter um, Roswell knot and uh, it just feels wonderful on the face the handle I really really dig the handle the handle is a throwback to the um, Mohawk shaving brush from the way back and um, I can't remember the numbers of the Mohawk brush but it was called the Mohawk and Douglas really dug on the brush and he ended up going ahead and making these um very reasonably priced brush like 15 bucks so that's the brushes now the razors i have quite a few vintages and i have a number of moderns so i did one of each we'll do the vintage first my favorite vintage is this one the gillette 1938 gillette senator as you can see it's an absolute beautiful shape. I mean, this thing is practically pristine. No scratches pitting or anything up on the top. The handle's in great shape. It opens and closes smooth. My girlfriend got it for me when uh, when we got it. Uh, something happened where the comb had got bent. Um, contacted the fella at Vintage Blade. He said he would look at it, but there was no guarantees he could do it. And, um, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to take a chance. So I sent it into Razor Emporium. And, um, you know, I figured that probably it got, because the box was pretty banged up. So it could have went ahead and took a hard blow when it got shipped. Or maybe it got dropped when it was getting packed. And it what the comb being bent wasn't noticed. But, you know, it was worth spending the extra money on getting it fixed. And the guy, he was like, yeah, sure, send it back. I'll fix it, but no guarantees. If I can't fix it, I'll refund your money. He was up front, very prompt on responding, willing to do whatever it took to make me happy and to make it right. So, but I went with Razor Emporium instead, and I'm so happy I did. Now, as far as modern razors, I've seen a number of people go with the Rockwell 6S or 6C. Um, Joe had that in her favorites. Um, Nick Shaves had the 6C. Uh, Kevy Shaves, Rockwell Success was in there. I got Rockwell Success. I do love that razor. It is one of my favorites. But one that beats it out just a tiny bit is this one. My bronze 0 0.78 open comb double edge razor. The handle, I love the handle. It's got this little down here, kind of goes in. Got this little area for you to grab. The base plate is big and beefy. Um, the comb, I love the way the comb is done. That scalloped head going across here. Very smooth threads, taking the handle off. I really like how it's got these tabs here that the blade drops over. 
and then they just go right in these little slots and just locks that blade in perfectly perfect alignment every time um only time i ever nick myself with this razor is if i'm not paying attention to what i'm doing but nine out of ten ten shaves in using it i come out of it without a nick weeper creeper uh, very little if any irritation usually from it usually none and i just absolutely love it it's a wonderful razor and that's a timeless bronze 0 0.78 blade gap uh razor now on to my favorite blade <clears throat> I would have picked Paul Silver Super Iridiums, but to my knowledge, they're not made no more. Um, I love the Astro Greens. I like the Sharks. I got quite a few. But the one that I like the most out of all my blades is this one, Gillette Silver Blues. These smooth, sharp, um, I can load one of these into any razor I got and I get an absolutely outstanding shave from them um, one of my favorite blades well actually my favorite blade um, it was difficult picking between some of the ones I got but this one came out on top anyhow that's my five four three two one challenge anyways uh, glad to be back here with you all um, some of some some of unsubscribed most you know the majority of you have not and thank you for that i appreciate it thank you for your patience and um once again welcome todd or i should say mr fudd <laughs> anyhow i hope you all have a great day a nice nice weekend and y'all take it easy now and i'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade bye bye now